Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. how are you? It's great to see you. Today I'm going to be making a little ice cream treat that has become a series now. I've been making ice creams that look like something else, but in reality they are ice cream. And today I'm going to be making a baked potato version. So this dessert hails from Idaho, a state located in the western part of the U.S. known for their great potatoes, specifically their russet or baked potato style potatoes. And this ice cream treat looks like a baked potato, complete with the sour cream and onions on top, but in actuality, it's ice cream. So you can find the street in Boise, Idaho, which is the capital of Idaho, at the West Side Drive-In, also at the state and local fairs. But since we have Corona, we won't be going to our fairs. So I'm going to show you how you can make it at home. So we're going to need a pint of vanilla ice cream. This happens to be dairy free. I find sometimes ice cream gives me trouble if I don't take a digestive enzyme. So today we're doing dairy free and now we're just going to place it onto the cling film and then we're going to wrap it and then use your hands to kind of shape it into the shape of a baked potato. Just like that. Super easy, right? I'm gonna take some aluminum foil. <laughs> Look, it already looks like a baked potato, isn't that great? We added a little bit of foil, it gives it a little bit more stability and also we're gonna use it when we present it later. And now we're going to place this in the freezer and we want this to set up nice and hard. So while we're waiting for the ice cream to firm up, we're going to whip up some whipped cream. Got some heavy cream here. You can certainly use this stuff in a spray can if you like, but I want mine to really look like a dollop of sour cream. So I'm going to go for the real deal. Boop. I plugged it in, lovelies. Did you see that? It was plugged in. Splash of vanilla. And if you'd like to sweeten this, you can just add some powdered sugar. There we have it, lickety split whipped cream. So for our green onions, we're gonna use some chopped nuts here. And we're gonna add a little bit of food coloring. This is a new bottle. I needed this when I made my island cake and I didn't have it, so I had to order some because I didn't wanna be without green food coloring and I really want this to be, oh, thank you. Sometimes these like easy lift open things are not that easy. Have you noticed that? Drops me crazy. Okay, <laughs> don't get food dye all over your fingers, please. Thank you. Sound like I'm speaking to my children, but I'm actually just speaking to myself. Okay, we're gonna add some food coloring to that. This is just paste green food coloring. And we're gonna mix that up until it turns green. And it's not turning green, so we're gonna add more. Let's use some liquid food coloring as well. Let's see if that helps us with our nuts. Oh yeah, I know, these don't look like green onions, but we need some like green garnish on top. And nuts and ice cream, classic combination. We also need a pat of butter. So I'm gonna use real butter because a baked potato looks really stinking cute when it has a square pat of butter. You could go ahead and make this out of white chocolate if you wanted, out of fondant, but I'm just gonna use real butter and I'm not gonna actually eat it. I just want it to look like a big potato. <laughs> now, here is a potato that I put in the freezer earlier and I'm gonna remove the foil. We are going to take cocoa powder and dust this. Just liberally dust this with the cocoa powder. Make sure we get all of the sides, which is kind of tricky. Make sure you get it all over the ends. Now we're gonna put the potato back into its foil jacket. There. Like that. Okay, now we're gonna slice the potato open. just like you would a baked potato. <laughs> that is amazing, it looks so good. Open the potato up. Look, it looks so much like a potato inside. <gasps> now we're gonna add 
our sour cream, which is actually just whipped cream. Dollop it right in there. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Then we're gonna add our nuts. <laughs> and a pat of butter right in there. Alrighty, my lovelies, look at the potato. Didn't it turn out great? So stinking cute. It's the cocoa powder that really does it. And then when you cut it in half and it reveals the vanilla ice cream inside, the texture looks just like a baked potato. It's great. It kind of cracks and looks, it looks amazing. It looks so, so great and super, super easy. I almost forgot to mention that Sandra Lee did this on her semi-homemade show on the Food Network years and years and years ago. She shaped her potato a little bit different, but she made this as well. So if Sandra Lee can make it, you can definitely make it at home as well. Okay, I'm gonna eat the skin and all. Here we go. Oh, I gotta get some nuts too. Alrighty, here we go. Itadakimasu. Mm. Typical. <laughs> Man. You'd think I'd be able to eat ice cream neatly at this point in my life. Nope. <laughs> Delicious. Absolutely scrum diddly umptious. It's so funny because you look at it and you're like, potato, and you eat it and you're like, no, ice cream. So stinking good. You've got a little bit of cocoa powder on the outside which gives it a little bit of cocoa flavor, but mostly it's vanilla. I said I was avoiding dairy, but here I am eating whipped cream, and it is lovely. Mm, 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 mm. Then it has such a beautiful texture too. It's sort of in between the textures of soft serve and hard ice cream. It has the perfect texture. Look at that, see? It's ice cream, it's not potato. And I've gotta have some nuts because I love peanuts, vanilla ice cream, and chocolate syrup together. My favorite. It's right up there with mint chocolate chip. In fact, it at times is better than mint chocolate chip. I know, I said it. Sacrilegious. Mmm. So, so good. My kids are going to love this. Mmm, 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 mmm. So there you have it, my lovelies, a little bit of the State Fair at home. If you would like to see more State Fair recipes, let me know down in the comments below. I have a couple ideas based on the things that I love to eat at fairs, and I'll see what I can do. Alrighty, my beautiful lovelies, thanks as always for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. I love hearing from you. I get so many wonderful suggestions from all of you. And yeah, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Baked potato, baked potato. Oh my gosh, that was a wiggle song. I am such a parent. Mmm. <laughs> Definitely a brain freeze inducing vibe.